AI-generated text is everywhere. But can AI actually detect AI? Today, we'll fine-tune a model to classify AI-generated versus human-written text using Hugging Face Transformers and Google Colab in less than 10 minutes. Instead of using GPT-0, let's explore how AI text detectors work by training a model on real AI-generated text from ChatGPT and DeepSeek. This is a text classification problem. Our model will learn to label text as either AI-generated or human-written based on examples we provide. Before we start coding, let's set up our environment. First, change your runtime to GPU in Google Colab. This ensures we have enough power to train our model efficiently. To confirm that our GPU is active, we run NVIDIA SMI command. Then we install three key libraries, transformers for loading AI models, datasets for managing text data, and Gradio for deploying our model. After the installations, we need to set up secure access to Hugging Face. Head over to the Hugging Face website, navigate to your account's access token section, and create a new token. Choose a descriptive name and select the necessary privileges. Then add this token to your Colab Secrets as HF token. Now, let's prepare our demonstration dataset. We'll create two sets of text, one generated by AI and one written by humans. Each text is labeled one for AI generated, zero for human written. Then we convert it into a hugging face dataset and split it into training and test sets. Before training, we need to convert our text into tokens so the model can process it. We use Modern Bert's tokenizer to handle this automatically. We apply padding to keep all inputs the same length and truncation to cut off long sentences. The max length parameter ensures all tokenized inputs have a fixed length of 128 tokens, preventing overly long inputs from breaking the model. We also set batched equals true, which means tokenization runs on multiple examples at once, making it faster and more efficient. Once tokenization is done, we load ModernBird and configure it for binary classification using num labels equals two, meaning the model will predict one of two possible labels, AI generated or human written. Next, we configure our training setup with training arguments. This controls how the model trains and logs progress. We set an output directory where the model saves after each training step. The learning rate is 0.001, a common value for fine tuning. If it's too high, training may be unstable, too low, and learning is slow. Weight decay helps prevent overfitting by slightly reducing the importance of certain parameters. Our batch size is two, meaning the model processes two examples at a time. This is small due to Colab's limited memory, but for larger GPUs, you'd use 16 or more. We train for three epochs, meaning the model goes through the dataset three times to learn patterns. The model is evaluated and saved after every epoch to track improvements. We enable logging to track loss and accuracy. Every step is logged to logs directory for monitoring. Load best model at end so that the best performing model is automatically loaded. We can log our training results to weights and biases for easy tracking. Go to 1b.ai slash authorize and copy your API key to enter it later on execution. We could also push our model to Hugging Face Hub for easy sharing. Now we initialize the Hugging Face Trainer, which takes care of training, evaluation, and optimization automatically. We provide our model, training arguments, dataset, and tokenizer to the trainer. Finally, we start training. The model will adjust its weights to classify text as AI-generated or human-written.
Training will take some time, so I'll pause and come back when it's done. After training is done, let's check the results. The model's best checkpoint is saved in our output directory, and we can see the logs in weights and biases. If push to hub equals true was enabled, the model is also uploaded to Hugging Face Hub, making it easy to share and use in other projects. Now that training is complete, let's test our model on new text and see if it can correctly classify AI-generated versus human-written content. We use a text classification pipeline from Hugging Face, which allows us to quickly load our fine-tuned model and tokenizer for predictions. We provide an input sentence from Wikipedia, for example, pass it through our trained model, and get a classification result. The model returns a label, either 0 or 1, which mean human-written or AI-generated text, respectively, along with a confidence score, which tells us how sure it is about its prediction. This allows us to analyze text and see how well the model detects AI-generated content. Now, let's make our model interactive by deploying it as a simple web app using Gradio. This allows anyone to test the AI text detector in a web browser without needing to run code. We define a function that takes user input text, runs it through our model, and returns a classification result. The Gradio interface takes a text input, runs it through our model, and instantly returns whether the text is AI-generated or human-written, along with a confidence score that we calculate it. With this, anyone can test our model in a simple web interface without needing to write any code. And that's it! We've trained an AI-generated text detector using Modern BERT, fine-tuned it with Hugging Face, tracked results in weights and biases, and even deployed it as a web app. This model can help analyze AI-generated content, but remember, the more data you train it on, the better it will perform. If you found this tutorial useful, like and subscribe for more AI coding projects. Also, check out the Google Colab and GitHub links in the description to try this yourself.